you are not likely to receive this information until late tonight or early tomorrow morning. But we are, this is for members only and we hope that you will bear with us for a bit longer. Thank you. So you don't need a badge? Are you from the FA? No, the, the three the thousand cards. for the card for the for the category three. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. I can't answer that. You'll have to the Italians don't tell us that. We can't I can't answer it. Yes, I can't answer that. When can you join him, eh? He said you can't. Can't now. Can't, do it tomorrow. Yeah. He said if he gets more tickets, then let people join. It's like a fucking concentration camp, isn't it? Yeah, no, what annoys me is like there's, there's been good fucking leave That's right. Understandably, Imagine they're really uptight. They can't even sort of allocate the tickets properly. So they take away the people who've got the vouchers to allocate them somewhere else to get the queue down so that everybody knows where they stand. And they can't even do that. I mean, the organisation is just out of order. I thought it would be a really good thing to go and see the semi-final of the World Cup. Wonderful, you know, go out there and see what it's all about. I mean, seeing all the excitement on the television. But when you really get in the thick of it, it's quite a different thing altogether, you know. I mean, I've just spent a total of six hours in the crush there, you know. You've got a ticket? Yeah, I've got one in the end. How much do you pay? Um, 33. Because I got one of the, um, before I came out, I was able to get a voucher, you know. So I was quite lucky. But you see, I mean, I'm in the middle of the crush there. I mean, they're all like him, you see. They haven't got vouchers. And I pull out mine, but there's no animosity. They don't say, oh, no, you know. They immediately you, pass my voucher to the front in front of them and get, get a ticket, so it's, you know. The very good spirit among everybody. But you see, what happens, the media come here and slack them all off. They're all made out to be animals. All this is whipped up by the government, you know, I mean, and by the media. Oh, yeah, the Minister of Sport, you know, who comes along and starts saying, oh, they're all rubbish, and... Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I've just spent six hours jammed in among them, you know, and, I mean, there's... there's um, of course they start getting annoyed when they hear there's only a thousand seats, because where are the rest if they only give the Germans a thousand? No, the rest must be going to got. Italians, you know, Pum. Do you know how many tickets the Germans have got? How many are the Germans got? 30, how many? 30,000. How many? 30,000. 30,000? 30, yeah. yeah. You're joking. No. It should it's, be half each. It should be half It should be half each. Not bloody us to get two. The we're, all, we're, all we're getting is that much, and the Germans are getting that, and the Italians are getting that. Yeah. And it's our game. We yeah. want to get in and watch our team go all the way, possibly, right? They're not They're not going to get the backing that they need. So, so far, yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Adam. That's all. Yeah. He's a pain. He's a pain. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know nothing. He's half German. He's half German. That's why the Germans have got more tickets than us. <laughs> He's half German. Has France got a minister for sport? Yeah. Is he good? Does he perform like? Does he get you? Is he? To is he? Like is he any good? French team never got. No, no. But is he? Is he any good? Is he any good? Is he any good? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, if he is, send him to England, cos we need somebody better than Minerham. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. David, can I have a chat, please? It was time to ask questions. The same man who had allowed me five minutes with Bobby Robson cautiously allowed me behind the bars to talk. Is he with you? Yes. Well, where do you want to do this, then? Anyway, here, it's fine. It's fine. Can you just briefly tell me what's going on? Are you open this all? <laughs> well, it's a very good question. We've just managed to get uh, just over a thousand tickets. It uh, takes a lot of uh, time, effort, trouble, and considerable amount of money to finally extract tickets right. from people. Has it been left late? Well, it's not been left late by us, but it's been left late by the organisers here. Um, what, the Italian people? Yeah, we well, don't like to point the finger too much, but it, it's it's certainly not our fault. We've been asking for tickets for, for months. Um, a lot of people out there seem to think that this is a result of a directive that has come from the top, i.e. our government, to um, allocate as few tickets as possible. Um, to uh, the, 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 there's nothing, nothing in that at all. Uh, it's just the case that... <coughs> We've asked for tickets, and uh, it's only now this relatively late stage of turning up. Do you know how many tickets the Germans have been allocated? No, 
<coughs> I wouldn't think it's too many more than, uh, than we've, we've got. got. Mm. So how many do you think we'll end up with? Uh, in the end, our top one. Just over 2,000. 2,000 tickets. And the stadium holds? Considerably more than that. Which is? I think it's about 80,000. 80,000. Having waited over four hours for our precious tickets, we settled uneasily into campsite Stalag 17. This time an unconverted and disused sports stadium. It felt insecure. There are rumours of Heysel revenge, and the local press have reported that Juventus fans were waiting to strike. I wanted to catch the other semi-final and have a beer, so I drove with Simon and Damien to a quiet mountain village to watch it. that Argentina had reached this semi-final against Italy had become a sick joke. But after extra time, and still all square, it was a tense affair for the locals. It was into penalties. Italy had missed their third penalty. The bar was stunned. They needed the next kick to stay in the tournament. When the end did come, the bar was shocked to silence. Italy was never meant to lose. I couldn't share their feelings, but I sort of felt a nervous embarrassment. As the cafe emptied, I couldn't say the same for Simon and Damien. I am so chuffed. So am I. Italia. Italia. They're out of the world time in their own country. They deserve it the way they treated the English. That's right, I'm telling you. We're in a happy I mean, I'm sorry alive. for the team tonight, but the fans deserve it. We deserve to be there. We're the happiest men alive at this moment. England. Oh, yes. The next morning, we found ourselves once more in the company of the gentlemen of the press. The smell of trouble must have wafted down to the press centre. What's your name, mate? Darren North. Where are you from? Charlton. Is it Feltham? Yeah. Like that? No section. Our premonition had been right. The avenging Juventus fans had attempted a minor assault on the campsite last night. An English guy was apparently stabbed the police lobbed tear gas into the campsite and there'd be momentary panic. Right, so basically what happened was the... Um... The Italians come along and spoiled our party and that. We were just minding our own business. Yeah. But such events were not going to mar what was for many the biggest footballing day they would ever experience. But he's got a lot against that. Like a state event. What? <laughs> Who's your mate? No, but, uh, he, was... Yeah, he was in London. In war, in war time. Was you in what country are you from? To Italiano? Paul? Yes, in Italia. They fought with us. Where were we in Sheffield? Benito mm. Mussolini. London, in London. In no, Mussolini. I was in England at the time. But you were on our side at the time. <laughs> Which part? Which uh, part of England? London. Yeah. Um, back to Gasworks. Back to Yes. Gasworks. I work in there. And the family was very kind, very kind to me, <laughs> uh, like, like, uh, like in my father, my, my, my mother. Is he getting turned? That's what I don't you, you know why? Why? <laughs> because I am a, a ticket. I would like to give them. Tickets? Ah. Yes. Have you got tickets? Eh? Have you got tickets? You sure? It's mine. No, oh, you go, you go. Oh, you no, go. no, 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 I don't go because oh, I am, no, I, I am sick. In your pocket. No. Go on, go on. I am go. sick. No. Take it away. Leave it. I, 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 I give no, 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 oh, you. Oh, you come with us. No, no, no. I've got a ticket. Look here. Probably the best ticket in there. Yeah. 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 You go to the match and watch England. No, 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 With a ropey Argentina through to the final, people were beginning to realise now that if we could dispatch the Germans in three hours' time, Bobby Robson's England could actually win the 1990 World Cup.